Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at AutoPad. AutoPad, so it's ambient pad loops. Super simple to use. When you open it, it'll look like this. You can make it full screen. You can resize it any way you like and it works perfect. Right, okay. So it's by the same developer, Ryan Robinson, who gave it, it's just uh, released Uda and also the marvelous Zoa here like this. Lovely. I'm going to just reset that. And what I have is it, I have VHS synth being played by Zoa. If I go along here and then I have this sound from Synthmaster 1 being played by Uda. Then I have Digistix supplying the drums and I have Autopad. So if we turn Autopad up a little bit, all we need to do is just tap a pad and it will generate a chord for us. Now you can use this in either major or minor because they use the root and the fifth for the chord. Just change over. And you have options down here, like the crossfade time between pad changes. So you can set that as you wish. Like this, you also have low pass filter, high pass filter, built-in reverb, panning. Let's go up volume, that's overall volume. Um, tempo stuff, you can have a click. There you go. And then you have follow host, receive MIDI. You have all sorts of MIDI control. It's very, very, very good. Right, okay. So, oh, and also we have all our parameters exposed for modulation, which is always good to know. Okay, so how would you want to use this? Let's click on this, stop that pad. So more or less designed for worship uh, keyboard players, you know, in churches and things like that, where you just want a drone in the background playing a nice chord. And of course, this works perfectly for things like I like to do with experimental stuff because the key doesn't really change, but it doesn't matter. I can set it up to change with MIDI. I can also um, have more than one of these running, obviously, because it's AUV3. Um, what else can we do? Uh, yeah, I can also change the sound. So it comes with some sounds here. These are the factory sounds. You can also import your own sounds, by the way. You might need to do that in a standalone version. And then there are a couple of IAPs to give you some more sound packs like this. So at the moment, I think I'm on, I'm not sure what I'm on actually. Oh, the heavens. So if we want to change out a sound, we just select it and. And we can do this on the fly, it's seamless. It will just blend. And you can set up favorites here. This is one of the IAP sounds. So let's put this to some practical use. So, I mean, you know, it's not going to be a long video, obviously. Um, I'm going to turn these down and bring them back in. And bring them in slowly as uh, I'll leave the VHS so it has been played by Zoa. So as soon as I hit play, you'll hear Zoa playing VHS synth. And you'll also see that I have the root note to C and major pentatonic. So let's bring in Digisticks. Mute my microphone and we shall have a jam.
you can also right you can also set up set lists so if you've got like a certain bunch of sessions arranged or you are literally playing in a key uh, you know playing in a, in a group with a with you're the keyboard player and you want some drones you can set up set lists for different songs basically just hit the little plus button i'm not sure if you yes you can you just set it all up here choose the sound the key etc etc and then you're good to go for your set list which is also super handy so i pretty much covered everything i think um let's choose a different sound let's choose big shimmer that should be nice So there you go, very, very quickly and really easily, you can build up a really nice kind of chilled out session with very little effort. In fact, it actually really requires you to do nothing uh, other than change the pads as you like, which I like to do. I the, the, Once the sequence is running, I like just to change the patch manually, but you can do it. You can do it all. You can do it all via MIDI. So yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, guys, top job, cool beans. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, consider becoming a Patreon. Uh, it's very helpful for me and Joe. Um, and I'll put a link for AutoPad in the description. I think it's $5.99. And then there's a couple of IAPs, like I said, that provide you with some extra sounds if you want them. Uh, you can also you uh, bring in your own sounds via the um, I, the, desk, the standalone version, I think, as well. Anyway, uh, top job, cool beans. I will see you later. Ta-ra, Autopad.